A lot of people are promising salvation today through their self-help programs. They're promising you get out of debt, you know, through their debt programs. They're promising you freedom through their political movements. But only Jesus Christ and his gospel can save you. We're not being mean when we say that. No more than I'm being mean when I say two plus two is four. It's not five. Listen, I love all people. And I'll sit next to a Muslim and have a wonderful conversation with them. But I love them enough to tell them, Muhammad was a false prophet. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. I love my Hindu friends, my Buddhist neighbors. They're all in my neighborhood. I love them. It's not mean to tell them, though, that Jesus Christ said that unless you follow him, you shall not inherit eternal life. He said that everyone who came before him, and that includes Buddha, that includes all of the Harry, uh, the, the, the Krishna myths of the Hindu religion, he said all who came before him were thieves and robbers. He said, I am the good shepherd, and I lay my life down for the sheep. How many good shepherds do we have? One. And what's his name? Jesus. Looking back to Psalm 23, David speaking in the Old Testament said, Yahweh, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And here before us, think about it, here before us on the shores of Galilee, one like the Son of Man is saying to Jewish people, I'm your shepherd. C.S. Lewis said if we take him seriously, he's either a liar, lunatic, or he's the Lord, he's Yahweh. If I were to say to you, I'm your shepherd, follow me to heaven, I'm preparing mansions for you, you would say, Joe, you're either a lunatic or a liar because you can't be Lord. But when they heard that with Jesus, they didn't know to believe him either. But what did he stake his claims on? Just his good teachings, that he was going to make you a better person? Jesus did not stake his teaching on fortune cookies because you can love your neighbor as yourself and still turn to dust. Jesus said, strike this body down and in three days I will rise it up again. Listen, little Nas may have tennis shoes, but we've got an empty grave. The Muslims may have prayer mats, but I have the Son of God returning in glory. The Hindus may have some vegan delightful dinners for you to have, but I'm getting ready for the Lamb's Supper. I'm getting ready to meet with Jesus. This world may convince you that Christianity is just one of many ways and that it's rude to think of Christ being the only way. But Christ, by definition, has to be the only way. Because the Bible says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. How many firsts can you have? How many king of kings can you have? Somebody shout out one. Come on, how many firsts and lasts can you have? How many Alpha and Omegas can you have? How many King of Kings can you have? How many Lord of Lords can you have? How many Creators can you have? The Bible says that's Him. That's my Jesus. Jesus. 